All right, guys, time to do the video and uh, show you the latest enhancements on the Viper Shark system and assembly. So let's come in close and take a look at it. So we, uh, <laughs> I have been working my tail off um, trying to get everything done and, and uh, bring you what I know you want with Viper Shark. So uh, I'm listening uh, to suggestions and, uh, um, and I hear you and I hope you know that and I hope you're recognizing that. So let's talk a little bit about some of the upgrades uh, or latest updates to the Viper Shark. Uh, as you order your Viper Shark through 2008 here now, this is what you're going to see is a set like this. Um, yeah, that's got the latest to it. So the instructions will be specific to your set. We've got a, a set of instructions that are for the plastic cutting board base. Uh, we have a set of instructions that are for that, by the way, that one comes with the ceramic stones, five stones. You've got a uh, 80 grit, normally it'll be in sequence to the grits, but 80 grit, 220 grit, 400, 600, 1200 on the stones. Uh, you do have with the ceramic kit, I think you can see that there, this says ceramic kit, you do have the option of getting the stone base that you see here with the ceramic kit. And so that is a, an option there. And then we have the diamond set, which comes with a 250, 400, 600, 1200 on the grits there. Now, those are not exact. Uh, um, I'm not, uh, that's not correct uh, language, so to speak, when it comes to stones. Um, vitrified stones, man-made molded stones, which is what these are, uh, that are commonly called ceramic uh, and aluminum oxide stone. Those have a grit, and uh, so you can, you can talk in grits or microns with those. Uh, with diamond, it's, uh, it's not necessarily a grit, so to speak. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, you, this is uh, the grit equivalents, um, 250, 400, 600, 1200, to a, a stone like that. So uh, you understand what I'm talking about, okay? Uh, and then we have in the kit, uh, basically you'll have the standard kit will come with six parts or six uh, groups of parts. So we'll have the stones, one, the base, the stone carriage, and the guide rod together, which will also include, uh, usually that's where the strop will be. The upright assembly, which we have an upgrade on that that I want to talk about, so there's four parts, the clamp, and the hardware bag. So those six items plus the instructions will come in the, the base kit. Now you do have the option of getting upgraded, uh, upgraded parts. So if you want, you can get an extra clamp, which is helpful for longer blades. And I'll show you that in a minute here. Um, you can also get both um, diamond and ceramic stones if you'd like to get that. So you can order them that way. Uh, and then you have the, uh, the option, as I mentioned earlier, to upgrade from plastic uh, base to the uh, stone base. And as you can see over here, yes, we even have a larger stone base available. Um, this is a, a nine inch um, base here. And I'm just getting these in, haven't done the uh, laser engraving as you can see on it but they will have uh, the Razor, Viper Sharp, the Made in USA, and the logo on those stones, just like uh, these smaller versions. These are about two and a half pounds, give or take. These are gonna be uh, uh, double that, closer to five pounds on the way there. So let's, uh, 
let's go through assembly and talk a little bit about using the Viper Shark here. So you can see the system put together here with this example right over here. Uh, so let's first talk about what's in the hardware bag. So in here we've got, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Okay. So those pieces are the screw for the base. the bearing for the guy rod, guide rod, the lock ring that goes on the back of, uh, of the guide rod there, and then an Allen wrench for each of the pieces. So you've got a, a tiny uh, Allen key for this lock ring and for the most recent up update here, the medium is for the clamp, and the biggest one is for that new um, base screw. Okay. So, if anybody uh, wants to get an upgraded, one of these upgrades that you see here, we've got the older set. Uh, I can I can work with you on that. So, email me, and, and we'll we'll make something to work for you. If you want to trade. Um, the older parts and, and get the new parts, uh, we can work that out. Uh, I, I'm not going to be able to give away stuff free, unfortunately. Uh, uh, these are not um, corrections to uh, you know, broken pieces or anything like that. These are upgrades um, that have recently been made to the system. So please recognize that and, and treat it as such. Um, but uh, I, I feel like we're at a point now as we move forward that this is the way the system is going to remain. The, the only changes you might see is, is different clamps coming out um, or perhaps a whole new system in, in years to come. But uh, uh, this existing uh, set, what you're seeing here, is, is pretty consistent with what we will continue to see. So let's... Uh, Let's look at some of these pieces. I'm just going to take these out so we can use those. One of the things I want to look at first, and, and I want you to understand that these upgrades I'm, that I'm showing you here to, today, even the fact of having this clamp as a, a separate uh, um, add-on order so you can get two of them, um, these are customer suggestions. Uh, this is uh, me listening to you guys hey, it'd be nice if you did X, Y, Z, and I appreciate that. And I want you to know that if it makes sense, um, I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to, uh, to do you know, what I can to, to make it come to light. So this clamp was one that um, I first heard from my um, brother, my stepbrother, uh, David. Thank you, David, for that suggestion. I've since heard it from others. But wouldn't it be nice with longer blades to be able to set the clamp on and this blade, honestly, I could probably do that. It's probably about an eight and a half inch blade. So it's getting close there. You know, I, I could probably do that with one clamp, but if I want to be absolutely uh, um, certain that I'm getting the exact angle all the way, then it would be a good idea to put a clamp on the first half of the blade, okay, and then put a clamp on the second half of the blade. So two clamps would make uh, a faster job of getting that, uh, getting the whole thing done rather than having to do half of this and then move the blade over. Now remember, when you're putting these on, you want a, a straight line following that um, front angle of the, the clamp. You want that line to be straight between the tip and heel of the blade. Now with a small blade, you would go all the way. With this, my sharpening section is going to be right here. So I'm going to go between here and here. And so from here to there, I want that to be fairly 
straight. So I might even want to adjust that a little bit. So the bow is going to be the furthest part away from the clamp. Okay, That's going to give you the most consistent uh, angle across there. Down here, I'm facing just about straight into the blade because we're only going to be sharpening that section. So if this is my tip, this is the heel here. Heel, tip. So I hope that makes sense. I've got a diagram in the uh, directions that talks about that. Giving you that line, showing you how to properly place the blade. Okay. So that way, when you're sharpening, We'll go ahead and use this one that's already set up, but of course you would take that piece and screw it down into there. Uh, and then when you connect it to the base, with the plastic base, you often don't need the screw that holds that together. It uh, will be tight enough that you can push that in there and it's going to stay. It's not going anywhere. But uh, you've got the, the screw. If you'd like to use it, it will work with this and it will work in the back of the stone set. So we've got uh, that piece you're, you're going to put together. We're going to put this in there and set this log ring. Put the, so here you can see why that's so important. So we want to set that lock ring so that we're using most of the stone. So the lock ring would actually be set a little bit back. Let's go closer here. So we'd actually want to back that off a little bit. So we'll come in here and loosen that piece. And we're going to pull that down so that we're right at the edge of the stone, but the stone isn't dropping forward of the blade. And that's why this piece is here. It was designed for people like myself who might get a little overzealous and really be reprofiling a blade and and come back, fall in front of it, and then back up and nick your blade. So this will prevent that from happening. Okay? These are also available as uh, an add-on uh, order item. So if you want to order just that uh, uh, with, the, with the Allen key, you can do that. All right, so there we're set to, to sharpen. So I can sharpen right here, get that half of the blade, and then once I finished with that on this side, look at that. That's the beauty of having two clamps. So now I can do the other half of the blade. And remember, when you're, when you're sharpening here, we want to use as much of this stone as possible. So you're going up and across at the same time. So that when we get to the end of our sharpening uh, range, we're coming close to the end of that stone, the end of the stone there, okay? So front of the stone, back of the stone, use the whole stone or close to it when you're doing your sharpening. So it's not just this, and it certainly is not this type of a, a thing where you're just using the middle of the stone and, and dragging it across the blade. Uh, here, up and over, okay? That also is explained in the instructions here. You start with the top of the stone, move in this direction, up and sideways. So that's what that diagram is trying to explain there. So hopefully that's clear. All right, so there's how we use the system. Now let's, uh, let's talk about the latest enhancement. Um, thank you guys for this suggestion. So this same small um, Allen key, look at that right there. So I've had some comments talking about the play in there. And I got to tell you guys, this has been one of the biggest challenging pieces to this system is figuring out how to get that so that you can, it's tight, but loose enough to be able to move in and out because we've got to be able to move that in and out so we can swap the blade over, right? Um, but uh, some of you have noticed that there is a potential for a little bit of play because we've got to have that room. And those tolerances, I mean, we're talking a thousandth of an inch there. It's crazy how, uh, how tight I've had my machinist work on, on getting that. Um, but it still has, <laughs> after anodizing and everything, and 
uh, you know, we still have a little bit of play. So the grub screw, lock that in right there. You got nothing. There's no play anymore. So this is one that uh, um, is just recently being done and uh, all of the new parts will have this going forward. Anything I'm sending out uh, from the beginning of February on through uh, forever now, we'll have that grub screw in there, okay? If you have one of these without the grub screw and you would like to trade it, as long as this is in good condition uh, that I can use that, then you can send it in and I'll trade you straight across for this. I'll pay for shipping to send it back to you. I need you to pay for shipping to send it in. If you want me to just modify yours, send it in. I'll make the adjustments. I'll pay the, the machinist to, to uh, tap that and uh, put the screw in for you and I'll send it back. Okay. So I'm going to do the most I can for that. Uh, you might have to pay a little bit of shipping to, to get it to me, but uh, uh, I'm going to send it back to you. So uh, if you'd like that uh, part exchange, just email me, mike at vipersart.com. Let me know and uh, we'll make it work. Okay. All uh, right. Did I explain everything? Uh, um, one other thing, uh, I think I've mentioned this uh, previous, but just to, to be clear, this length has, uh, has increased from the first version of Vipersharp that I did in 2016, 2017. So we've got a longer range there. That's part of what uh, is going to help with doing a big knife like this. Uh, and that's the, the purpose behind that was if we've got a, a, bit, a longer blade, then we can adjust that so we can sharpen that whole edge on there. Like I say, with an eight and a half uh, inch uh, blade there, you can do that in one pass uh, with very little variation on the angle. Okay, So there's our setup. Uh, uh, again, choice of stones or both, and uh, you should be able to order those on the site. If ever you, you uh, are seeing that they're noted as out of stock or something, just let me know, and uh, uh, I'll take care of it, and we'll, we'll find out if it's truly out of stock and what the wait time is or if it is... Uh, uh, an error that I'm that I just need to attend to. Um, every kit, whether you get diamond or ceramic, will come with a strop. So you'll have one strop included in every kit. Uh, the lubrication for these ceramic stones, I recommend water. You don't need oil. If you do use oil on these, you're never going to use water. Okay, it's one or the other. Um, if you put oil on these stones, that's it. They've always got to use oil. Mineral oil, just a, a light mineral oil is a great option for, um, for using with these. Um, I use the diamond stones dry myself. I'll use these dry, uh, the ceramic sometimes as well. But uh, technically uh, it's best if you have a lubricant with, uh, even with the diamond, to help carry the, the stone fragments away as you're shaving, on, uh, shaving them off of the blade. So it is a good idea to, uh, to use some oil if you're going to be using diamond stones. Um, oil will work better than water for the diamond abrasives. So uh, let's take a look at the diamond stones. This, uh, these are wrapped with rubber bands. I've uh, wrapped some in cardboard. Um, paper doesn't really work for the diamond. Uh, they're so hard. I, I've had some that uh, early on when I was shipping that arrived and the, this piece was broken off of the end on one. Um, you know, very, very low percentage. I mean, for one to, to have that happen, not, not a real, you know, it's not gonna happen all the time, but I don't ever want it to happen, right? So, so I've been working on how to secure these and rubber bands seem to hold them uh, tight uh, there. So that's one that I'll probably do. And then working to keep them away from the stone in the, in the case, so everything will will be in a position so that it's not, you know, they're not banging against each other. Because I know when these things get in the mail, they are getting beat to heck. They, they aren't nice and, and careful with these things. So hopefully uh, it's being held tight enough in there that uh, yours isn't going to arrive broken. But of course, if anything like that happens, let me know 
and uh, I'll open the claim with the, the shipper and, and get you taken care of and send you a new part. Um, did I miss anything? <laughs> I think we've got it uh, all there. Um, when you put the screw in on the back, um, I actually used a, my clamp screw for that one there, but uh, generally uh, you're all going to have this one. Um, when you put that in, just tighten it down real good so that you're sucking this to the back. These stone parts are water jetted. Um, that's, that's difficult for, for my guy to, to get that precise and, and make that hole. And uh, the biggest uh, struggle I, I run into with that is this tube uh, is not always the exact same. It might vary a thousandth or two. And so I can't make that hole for the skinniest tube. I have to make it for the biggest. Um, and so there is going to be a little bit of play. So you've got to have that screw in there to hold that in, or you're just going to have uh, things wobbling around in there. But with that screw tightened up, it'll lock it right down. You've got no problem. Everything's going to work uh, beautiful. Once you get the clamp in, you can tighten that sucker down right there. And... And that's going to hold that real secure. So we've got everything locked down nice and tight. Uh, again, one of the biggest uh, benefits of the Viper Sharp is this adjustment here. You've got the, the marks on the back of the, uh, the inner riser there. Uh, and it allows you know virtually uh, unlimited uh, angle adjustment. I mean, it's, it's not set spots it's you can put that anywhere you want if you want a half a an angle difference then you can do a half a or a half a degree difference then you can do a half a degree if you want five you can do five so um, 35 degrees is where it tops out uh, and uh, for a knife like this or, or a little wider you you could go as low as nine or ten degrees if you really wanted to uh, on that uh, the one side so uh, we will have some of these uh, larger bases coming, and uh, I'll weigh that right now and let you know what that weighs. So, five pounds, seven ounces for that one. So you're looking at around five pounds, a little over five pounds, well, five and a half pounds, I guess, for the big one. The smaller one, mentioned before 2.6 uh, 2 pounds 6 ounces so we're looking at close to two and a half pounds on that one that's that's pretty solid I mean that uh, it isn't going anywhere you know any work that you are going to be doing or that you should be doing on this that's not going to go anywhere uh, I have had uh, uh, a couple of people mention it'd be nice to have cut out foam and, and placement with everything I get that. I understand that. I would love to be able to do that as well. But realistically, that's something that just doing that foam pick and pluck or similar foam where it's cut out for the insert on this is more than the cost of this case. Uh, you know, we're probably looking at 20 or 30 bucks just for the cost of that kind of foam, if not more. It's very expensive. And so that's something I'll look into, I'll source, and if that's an upgrade that's, that you really want, then I'll probably make that available in the uh, in the future here. So there's your Viper Sharp unboxing and assembly. Uh, I hope you uh, you enjoy your Viper Sharp. Uh, warranted for life, guaranteed to make you happy, guaranteed to give you a sharp uh, a sharp blade. So uh, if you have any uh, other suggestions, uh, leave me a comment and uh, uh, feel free to email me as well. And I uh, thank you all for watching. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I'll get more of these out there for you so you can see more as, uh, as we progress. We'll, we'll show you some sharpening and uh, different stills and, and angles and things. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to do more of that as I've uh, been outsourcing most of the work for Viper Sharp so I can focus on this stuff. Thanks, guys.